and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really really well today is going to be a pregnancy update and i'm super excited to be doing these videos so if you are excited if you are new then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video and let's get into it so i just want to talk a little bit more about um sort of when i was earlier on in the pregnancy because I should have done but I didn't really do it is when I was like you know five six seven eight weeks I should have filmed all of that like I should have done all of that and I didn't I thought oh I would just do it when I've announced it which I don't know why it's weird I should have already filmed them videos but I didn't also I can hope you can hear me because my speaker is so bad um so yeah no I couldn't do them video i can you know i just wish i did them videos but i didn't but it doesn't matter i'm only 15 weeks it's fine we've got plenty of time to do them um it's all good so i just want to start off with like how i was feeling i'm talking between like five weeks all the way up till i was about well till now actually i'll do five weeks up till of what i am now i'm 15 weeks exactly today so every friday i turn over so i am 15 weeks today which is exciting and it's gone super quick already and it's really really quite scary how quick it actually goes um but yeah now i just want to talk about some of my early pregnancy symptoms so anyway let's get into it so my pregnancy symptoms you know i i took a pregnancy test it came back i was pregnant and um the symptoms didn't start as soon as i found out as a pre i was pregnant you know a lot of people are like as soon as they find out they're pregnant they instantly feel sick i don't know why i think that's just nervous or just how you feel um in general but my first sort of symptoms was really 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 tender breasts really tender and super swollen <laughs> which is lovely for someone with really small boobs um but yeah yeah super tender and super swollen sorry guys we don't like me talking about all this stuff but this is pregnancy this is what it's like if you haven't been pregnant then enjoy this video <laughs> it might put you off yeah so super tender breasts um and then very 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 bloated very bloated like i felt all day you know since as soon as i woke up to as soon as i went to bed all day i felt really bloated like i felt like i just had a massive big meal and you know when you're just like in a food coma and you just can't move that's how i felt um super constipated um headaches and a blurry vision so they were the sort of more of like my early symptoms um and then we're getting on to more of like my six and seven week that's when um sickness hit me so sickness hit me about five to six weeks so, yeah just going into six my sickness hit me and it hit me bad because i remember saying to tom like I hope everything's all right. Why am I not feeling sick yet? And I don't know why I said that because with Oliver, I wasn't sick at all. Um, but I was just like, yeah, where's the nausea? Like, why am I not feeling sick? Like, you know, and all of a sudden it comes and it come and it hit me really hard. I'm someone that hates feeling sick, but I, I'm petrified of actually being sick. I'm petrified of choking. So I don't like, yeah, I don't think anyone does, but yeah, being sick just scares the crap out of me um so it started off with me just like and i'm talking that like, as soon as i opened my eyes to, to go in the bed all day it was just nauseous 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 and i couldn't eat and i didn't want to drink and i didn't want to do nothing i just wanted to lay there and for some reason i would lay on the sofa and i would literally go mm. <laughs> i'd literally make such a weird noise i don't know why I found like making that noise somewhat it just eased it a little bit so yeah i'd make a really really funny noise and tom and ollie were like are you all right <laughs> i i don't know why but i just hum and make a funny noise when the sickness was really intense um and i found that that eased it i tried anti-sicknesses three different anti-sicknesses pills from the doctors they're all rubbish and I also bought myself some of them bands, sickness bands from Boots. I think they were like 15 quid. Didn't work. I still wore them though. Just psychological. So if I've got them on, they might help, but they never worked. If I'm being completely honest, they might work for others, but they didn't work for me. Um, so yeah, sickness was really bad around there. Really, really bad. And 
I'm trying to think what else. Also around sort of like six weeks, um, tiredness really hit me. I'm 15 weeks, I still got it, it sucks. But yeah, super, super, super fatigued, really, really tired. All I could do is sleep. Um, dizziness, I've still got that now as well. So yeah, around those sort of times I was super dizziness. I was constipated, um, really, really bad skin. Still have got my really, really bad skin. Um, bad dreams. They have been intense, like I mean intense, really, really bad. Um, to the point where I sit up and I'm like, was that real? Like, has that actually happened? And I'm talking like, there's been some really good dreams. I'm like, gosh, I just want this dream to keep going. <laughs> um, and then there's been dreams like where people have died in my dreams and I wake up and I think, you know, has someone died? Uh, we have had a really, really, really tra tragic loss in the family. And I don't know if that set the uh, bad, bad dreams off because I've only just sort of started to come, the like nightmares, the horrible like death sort of dreams. So I don't know if that's why, because we've had a really, really sudden, sad loss in the family. I don't know whether that's that, that my mum said it probably could be. Um, so yeah, really, really, really bad dreams. All the symptoms I had, every symptom and more I had um but that's just a little brief of my sort of five weeks uh till sort of now um oh yeah my sickness didn't stop till I was about 12 coming into 13 weeks that's when it started to get so much better and I was starting to eat and I had like, I just started to eat more food but still plain because just something too intense would make me feel sick, like something too overpowering, it would just instantly make me feel sick. So I was starting to eat. Um, I love salty food, love it. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit of then. I wish I did them updates and then I could have uploaded them, but I didn't, that's me. I'm just, I don't think I've got a baby brain and I can get away with saying that now. <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't want to make this too long. I just want to go on to my 15 week <sighs> me all day every day so i just want to go on to my 15 week update now they're going to be every week now so i hope you guys enjoy them there will be different videos in between obviously as well um but my 15 week update what's happened most in my 15 weeks so i have still been very tired very very tired um I just don't feel like that's ever going to go. I asked a few ladies, like, why am I still tired? I rang the midwife's midwife office and said, you know, can I just speak to someone about something? And I said, I'm just really, really tired. Like, now, I know I'm in the second trimester and I believe it should have stopped and it hasn't. Um, I know sometimes it can carry all the way through as well. Um, she goes, let me just check your blood work. Um, and she went off and checked that and she came back and she said, your iron's better than what it should be like anyone should be like it's up there like your iron's pretty much perfect it's higher than what it should be so i don't know that's it's, you know your, your iron's not making you tired um she just said you need to get plenty of rest and i was like honey i'm getting plenty of rest like i'm going to bed at half nine half nine and then i'm not getting up till 10 so i'm getting that sleep in and i just still don't know why i'm feeling too tired and i know a lot of people have said you're probably getting too much sleep. Is that possible? Not for me. I can never have too much sleep. So yeah, I got that checked and my iron is perfect. Um, it's better than what it should be, which is really, really good. Um, probably because I'm taking supplements, which is good. Very important to take. So I'm taking all that. Um, really, really sore boobs still. What should I say? Breasts. It's a lot more technical, isn't it? So yeah, I've had really, really sore breasts. Um, I've had teeth toothache, which is kind of random. So my teeth have been a bit sensitive. My gums have been a bit sore. And I brush my teeth and my gums bleed. I know that's a symptom. Weird, never had it with Bolly. Never had any of this with Bolivar. Um, so yeah, my teeth, well not my teeth, my gums have been bleeding. Still super bad skin. Um, I'm losing loads of hair as well when I wash my hair. And I talk like so much, I'm like, how how did i lose that much hair how the hell have i got that much hair left on my head i'm lucky that my hair is quite thick but still honey i don't want to be losing that much hair um i've also had a blurry vision um i have booked in with spec savers to have my eyes tested again um i think i only got them done sort of 
six, seven months ago. So, oh, sorry guys, I literally put my hand over my mouth. I'm super tired. Yeah, I had them done about six, seven months ago, so it wasn't that long ago that I had my eyes tested. Um, but I've been recommended just my eyes are rubbish as it is. I can't see anything that's far away. It's literally like they're really bad. And my glasses that I've got now, are, they're just not strong enough and they have broken as well. So it's just no good. So I booked in to get my eyes tested because they're just, they just don't work. They're just not very good. Up close, like I do have my phone quite close. Um, but yeah, up close, I can see fine, far away. Like I cannot, like, I don't even know if you're angry with me, happy with me. I can't see. <laughs> it's that bad. Like I can't see. Um, what else? Still constipated, which is awful like oh, i don't wish that on anyone it's so uncomfortable it's horrible i don't like it um i'm still super dizzy i was just in bed and i got up and i thought let's do this video why 15 weeks now and i got up and i was just like jesus <laughs> um trying to think of anything else i've not really gained much weight which was quite shocked but i'm, I'm still i'm still the same weight like, i haven't gained any weight uh, also, which is really, really annoying, I'm weighing so many times a day, it's ridiculous. But I am drinking tons and tons. That's my lipstick, by the way, guys. I'm drinking so much water. I know how important it is in pregnancy, but also for me and for my skin and everything. So I've been drinking loads and loads of water, but I just, I can't. Mate, I need a toilet next to my bed. Like, it's, at night, it's ridiculous. I'm, I can never settle at night as well. Um, so before I go on the next one, yeah, also, when I'm asleep, all I want to do is lay on my back. And I've been told that you really shouldn't lay on your back because it puts a lot of pressure on your sort of uterus and can make your breathing really tight and the circulation to the baby not very good. So that's hard, me, because I like to lay on my... I like to sleep on my back with my arms sort of above my head like that, and I can't. Um, I can't sleep the right side, so the way, um, if I was facing Tom, the right side, I can't sleep this side. So as soon as I turn over this side, instantly, I'm so out of breath and my breathing becomes really, really tight. And then if I lay on my left side, facing my window, I'm fine, but it's not comfortable. Do you get me? I just can't win in this at the moment. I really can't. I think I need to invest in a... Uh, pregnancy pillow I need something because I'm just not comfy at night and it's annoying um, also mood swings I'm snappy <laughs> uh, I can be all right one minute and then the other minute I'm biting your bloody head off like it's gonna be tiny little things as well and I'm like I'm really snappy so yeah I'm very moody who isn't when they're pregnant you know, you just want to be left alone. Like, I love my own time, just me, myself and I, like what I'm doing right here now. I'm in the room on my own. And it's lovely. My child's asleep and it's just nice. Um, So I do like my own time personally. Not that I get it much, but I like it. Um, I'm trying to think of any more symptoms. So I've also been very, very hot. Like, ridiculously hot. Like, I cannot cool down. Like, I could... I go to bed naked. I don't wear anything because I just find that's how you should sleep. I just can't sleep in clothes. And definitely not socks. Who the hell sleeps in socks? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm super, super hot. All year round, I will have a fan blowing on my face. Why I suffer with dry eyes because I have a fan blowing on my face all night. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super hot. But I, I said to someone in the car, I'm either someone that's ridiculously hot or ridiculously cold. I'm never in the middle. Why is that super annoying um and also my last symptom for 15 weeks is i hope you haven't missed any but definitely is um sense of smell it's strong and i mean strong like i can smell anything and i'm just like instantly makes me feel sick even if it smells nice um and i'm like tom can you smell that can you smell that because tom's sense of smell is incredible like he can smell everything like his sense of smell is just so strong like and I, before i was pregnant he was like can you smell that what is that and i'm like no i can't smell anything what's wrong with you and now i'm like 
what's that? And he's like, what's what? <laughs> oh, bloody hell, it's a nightmare. But yeah, no, sense of smell is really strong. And it's, I don't know, it could be any, it could be like a perfume and it's like, it smells nice to someone, but to me it doesn't. Um, I'm struggling to use hairspray at the minute, you can kind of tell. Um, every time I use hairspray, the smell of it instantly makes me feel sick. And then I feel like I can taste it for ages. Oh, that reminds me. Metal. All I can taste is metal. It, I taste, all I can taste, I feel like I'm sucking on a 2p all day, every day. And I can taste it now. Just metal. It's proper weird, isn't it? It's really weird. So if you've been pregnant before and you, yeah. And I can still, I can eat something now. I've got my Ben and Jerry sitting there staring at me for when I finish my videos, my little reward. Um, I will still have that in my mouth while I'm eating. I can still taste it. It's that strong. So yeah, I can, metal, I can just always taste. It's not very nice. So I think that is all of my pregnancy symptoms for 15 weeks. They could change by 16. They could, there could be more. I don't know. I'm new to these videos. Hopefully I'm not confusing because I can be that person that will talk, 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 and then wander straight onto something else. And I'm like, now I've confused myself, let alone confusing you poor people. So hopefully it's not too of a ramble and a bit of a mess. Um, but I'm gonna insert some of my bump pictures from nine weeks to 13 I've got at the minute. So need to take my 15 week one i missed so i've done my nine ten i've missed some of them i don't know why i didn't do them why didn't i do them baby brain anyway i will insert them pictures that i have and then i'm going to show you my baby bump for fifth that see i'm getting carried away that's another symptom i'm so out of breath like I'm constantly like that. I've had to. I've had to use my inhaler a couple of times yesterday. I said to Tom, "My breathing so tight." Like I know it's a pregnancy symptom because of the change of the hormones can make your breathing really tight. But, jeez Louise, like that's what I'm like all day. Like I, I feel like I'm grasping for air. Like I've got to really take a deep breath in, and like get my air back. It's not very nice, but I, when you're pregnant, you just get used to it, aren't you? Really, you just get used to it, so it's fine. Um, but anyway, yes, let me show you my 15 week belly shot. So guys, that is my 15 week belly. This guys is fake tan. I was just listening to baby's heartbeat and I, have, I faked tan last night. I haven't washed that layer off yet. So the gel got a little bit, well, it made me patchy, put it that way. <laughs> anyway, this is my 15 week belly. I've started to get super when I've got no tan on. You can see it, but I've started to get super, super veiny just around there. So that is the side. Oh, let's go back the front. And then the other side. Yeah, you know, super, super veiny. But yeah, there's the baby. So yeah, I've definitely got a bump now. There, I, I, yeah, I can still hide it. It's fine. Can't get into my jeans, which I miss so much, but it's absolutely fine because I'm growing a little human. Um, but guys, I also wanted to mention, hang on, oh, I forgot it already. I have been feeling baby movements. Like, see, how can I forget the most important one? I have been feeling like flutters and it is so precious when you feel them. So. I describe it like, I, I can feel sort of rolling under the skin and I can feel like flutters in my like my belly. I can just picture it a butterfly in your stomach sort of thing. They're so subtle and gentle. And when I'm laying on my back in, laying on my back in bed, I can feel them and it's so lovely. And when I'm listening to baby's heartbeat as well, because you have to push just a little bit, um, the baby gets like a little bit annoyed and it's like, pokes me back um it's super super cute and it's nice to start to feel baby and stuff like that because it's just so reassuring and yeah it's, i can't wait until they get stronger because 
I just love baby movies. Like, you kick me in the rib. I love it. <laughs> I love feeling the baby move. It's so precious. But that is everything. This is my randomly pregnancy update because that's what I'm like. Um, I know a lot of people are going to ask my tan. It's the St. Moritz, guys. That's what I'm using in dark. I love to be tanned. Who doesn't? Just because we're pregnant, we don't have to let ourselves go. Admittedly, in the first three months, I did because I was that ill. But we are back and we're good. And I'm going to make ourselves feel good by tanning and putting our makeup on and doing our nails. Why not? We should as well, shouldn't we, right? We need to look after ourselves. It's very important. Um, but yes, I'm going to end the video here. So I really, really hope you enjoy it. If you did, please smash a like on this video. Comment down below. Guess what do you guys think i'm having because everyone thinks it's a girl so have a little guess down below um please make sure you hit that subscribe button share my channel with your friends and family because that'd be absolutely amazing and i will see you all soon in a new video bye guys